Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are continuing Monster episodes 3 and 4. Last time around uh, I watched the first two episodes and it's definitely something very different than what I'm watching right now and what I watched recently and I really like the super realistic setting and the vibes and only with those two episodes it made me think a lot man it's very thought provoking so we are following the life of a doctor of a uh, neurosurgeon dr uh, kenzo ten and he is a very very nice guy so basically we are following him witnessing the cruelty of humanity right and how in simplest way possible uh, to explain it's how the money runs the world right and make makes people rotten so the people on higher positions are dictating whose life will be saved as we see the example of a construction worker from turkey who came who was admitted to the hospital first but they didn't operate on him because after him arrived person with a higher status the opera singer and Tenma operated on him and saved his life so the scene with a Turkish man's child and wife was very very haunting and it was basically the beginning of the beginning for Tenma to start having like doubts and questioning things is he doing the right thing right and we see another example later on in which he uh, in my personal opinion uh, did a correct thing when the boy who had the bullet in his brain was admitted to the hospital and they were about to start operating the surgery they admitted another patient who is a freaking mayor right and of course uh, his father-in-law dr Heyman or whatever calls him and passively aggressively is trying to make him go and operate on the mayor and abandon the boy and i'm so glad that Tenma didn't do that he saved the boy's life and there was that scene when he was basically confessing later on to the boy everything and how essentially that boy is his hope right that he's proud that he did that and he was constantly reassuring himself that he did the right thing man it's so sad to see him like that he lost his fiance uh, i mean i'm kind of glad because they're horrible people and uh, he's japanese right who got accepted to work in a hospital in western germany in Düsseldorf, and he got demoted uh, he's no longer like the head of neuros surgery i guess but uh, the crazy twist was at the very end where the people who operated on the mayor together with director Heyman got murdered so him operating with that boy him making that decision might as well uh, have saved his life because maybe there are some people who were close to mayor who are very very upset with them not being able to save mayor's life and despite that them like celebrating going on this like a fancy dinner and talking about how they tried their best on the operation and they were all clapping and laughing right that was very very distasteful to me and i hence why nobody target, uh, targeted Tenma because he had nothing to do with mayor surgery so that's basically it man we had the the, the scenes of course with the girl who is very traumatized and she has amnesia she witnessed death of her parents and for her at that moment she probably thought that her brother was dead as well and just seeing her face is giving me so many like sad emotions bro she is completely broken soul and i don't even think she is capable of recovering that's the sad part man but we will see and those fuckers were trying to use her for the media it's just super fucking wrong man on so many levels and they brought her to the his her brother's 
room in the hospital and her brother was crying. Emma was freaking furious with how they were treating them. Of course, man, I am on his side and I'm ready to continue this journey, guys. It's super interesting. So without further ado, let's start episode number three. Let's go. All right, guys, everything is ready. Let's start. Here we go. <laughs> there he is. They're probably investigating the murder of Dr. Director Henman. Dr. Oppenheim and Dr. Boyer. Yeah, that's a huge shock for him, man. Also, the team is very unique as well. Like after that beginning part, I wasn't expecting this, man. But it's also not like, like this tune. Like, it's super eerie, man. It's, it just gives you chills. And look at this, like, based on the opening, it looks like he's running away, like he's hiding from someone, man. Poor guy will probably go through a lot of shit, it seems. Bro. And it looks like he's even holding a gun. He looked really paranoid there, like somebody was following him. A murder. It is a murder, but I guess it makes sense they're asking the questions. Is that Dr. Becker? To people who need urgent surgery and the stroke. Again, man. Again, people standing in his way of him saving lives. What happened to them? The kids are missing. Is this murder incident somehow connected to the murder of their parents? Did somebody like kidnap them? They did come from East Germany to West Germany, right? They're attending the funeral. And the thing that he even wanted to get his scripts, speeches prepared by Tenma, man. Tenma was about to comfort her. I mean, yeah, he still feels freaking bad, but... What can you do? Notice how this guy always talks. Yeah, he always talks about people's status and positions. Said human. Spectre Lunch. <laughs> he looks evil. A tick? Oh, wait, what did he say? Never mind them. Muscular relax. Overdosed. What the fuck? No way. We saw them eating. The candies from those kids. 
双子の捜索はどうなってるんですか捜査の主導権は州警察から我々連邦捜査局に移りましたご安心くださいちょ Holy shit they actually got poisoned with the fucking candies 誘っされた時から繋がっている可能性もあります東ドイツから亡命し両親を何という線も考えられます Yeah, there has to be connection there, I agree お願いします。なんとか探し出してください。そう。最善を尽くしますよ。では。チーフの座を外され、その娘との婚約も解消された日本人しか。Don't tell me that they're gonna sus suspect him. いや。Yeah. Look at him. He's fucking tweaking, bro. <laughs> What the fuck? 頭の中のディスクに全ての情報を入れてべての情報を入力している。<laughs> This guy is so extra. He's literally typing. Yeah. He's aware. Oh, I don't think you will, man. I'm just so tired. It has been a rough period for him. Nice. Nice. He's such a nice guy, man. Please don't quit. Damn. That's rough. To succeed the empty spots, okay. Considerable perch. Yeah, these are good people. They all value Dr. Tenma for what he is doing and not for the wrong reasons. Chief of Surgery. チーフの座から外され、エバとの婚約も解消になり、ただの医者として出世とは関係ない道を歩いてみこうと決めた矢先。なんて人生だ。What <笑> Oh, okay, she noticed that. Okay, maybe she was acting rash. Is it a smart decision to go back to her? I don't think so. Yeah. You can't go get over some things just like that, man. I totally understand him. Nine years time skip. There he is. Still operating. Oh, kill him. It's 1995, the year of my birth. I don't think he knew about it. Two murders. Typing. 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 Those couples did not have children. 
余計な共通項だと思わないかねしかしどの被害者宅からもそれでも見合うかもしれないがねでは単独犯ではないと極めて厳重な鍵と警報装置をつけた家も2件ストロークスアラームスし犯人はそれをいいとも簡単に開けしない somebody really very really skilled when it comes to に抵抗した後もなく殺害ブレイキングイン周囲の住民は事件当時物音特に抵抗した後もなく殺害され Do not fight back. Did it happen during their sleep or whatever? Adolf Junkers, Adolf Junkers. Adolf Junkers. A lockpicker. The main suspect. This guy didn't change a bit in nine years. あら、やっぱりダメね。昨夜のカナじゃ、どうって、いい人だったよ。おいおい、理事の娘だぜ。まさか食事だけして、はい、さよならってわけじゃないだろうな。He this guy backer, bro. He chose to save someone's life. He's gonna make it fly, isn't he? There you go. Man, what a fantastic guy, Tenmaze. <laughs> the Becker is the embodiment of all the fucking miserable people, bro. It was a very nice scene. The transition to the surgery, though. I don't even want to try to pronounce that. Yeah, watch and learn. Operating on the brain again. I mean, he's speci specialized in neuro neurology, I guess. What is going on here? The lockpick guy? From the picture? Or nah? Bro, didn't move, he froze, man. That happens a lot, man. And I was always wondering when I was younger, why do people just continue running or jump, dodge? It's not that simple. It was running away from something. Tenma, will he remember him? Oh, even though it has been nine years. So they're suspecting the lockpick guy to work with someone. <laughs> he doesn't remember him though. There we go. No pressure. Nice answer. Hell yeah. ゲカ部長になられたそうですが。いえ、その若さで大したものだ。時期委員長も間近なんでは。いえ。私の物件が少なく捜査は難航を極めています。唯一の手がかりは独位で<笑> Oh. 
every single one and he intends to solve these ones as well eh very dedicated guy Tenma, yeah, I know. Doctor Tenma. So he survived, man, another successful surgery. Please refuse for now. Don't tell me they are already in the room. Mr. Junkers. Bro. The monster is coming, Jesus! Monster is coming? What is happening, bro? Bear, there is something terribly fucked up going on. Because <laughs> even in previous episodes, there was that scene with the boy, right? Just like waking up from coma and opening the eyes in a weird way. And there is also the stuff with the girl, right? So, like, I don't know. A monster is coming. Okay, the monster that is coming is perhaps... What was chasing after him? And this guy, policeman, thinks that this guy who is good at lock picking is working with a murderer. So, was the person who was chasing after this dude, did they try to get rid of him because they predicted that police would go after him? Another fantastic episode. Alright, guys, episode 4. Oh, we are going a little bit back. Bro, look at his eyes as well. He said it very clear right now. And Tenma is very concerned. Holy fuck, guys. Okay, we're gonna skip it this time. Night of the Execution. Oh god. Oh, the guy from BKA. Yeah, he was clearly working with the murderer and helping the murderer. The murderer wants to get rid of him. Ma お前が複数の実行犯がいたことになる。私の考えでは最低3人殺害するためにはな。そのうち内部使いの男はリストアップをほぼ済ませてやる。I Split your face to justify the murder. Middle-aged couples without children. Is he going to speak? Now. He's very too scared. The guy has a PTSD. <laughs> this guy, bro. Oh, he's gonna leave a guard. なぜか偶然いろんなトラブルが起きるようだ。オッケー、ドゥード。何が言いたいんですか。ジョークですよ。では、失礼。I mean, I can't say that this guy is bad. He's a 
very fucking good detective. No more, sorry to a comarimas. Kanja that the Kibarashiga Sion on this. Niwani did it. Right now, that guard is not letting them go for a walk. He will not go with them. There is that nurse watching over kids. あたたかくて双子の兄弟のお兄ちゃん、医者の本部に立ち返ることができたんだ。あ、ウィルドクター。人間はやり直せる。今からでも遅くない。He's but you're like my old man. Sensei wa ore no inochi sukutte kureta. Ore no oya mitai na kanji ga suru. Like you're my parent. Ikinari dekai kodomo ga dekita mo. I saw like you're a big kid. Ore kodomo no toki hoshikatta nda. Mechanical clock. Ko kurumi wari ningyo ga tobi dashite. Oh, okay. Mai nichi mai nichi sore ga hoshikute. Tokei ya no show window ni kao hitsuke te ta. He couldn't afford it. Damn, dude. He's advising him to confess everything that he knows about. But he's clearly. I saw it. All of them are killed. What? I'm so confused. Did somebody kill the murderers of middle-aged couples and was going after him as well? But no, there would be more bodies, they would find them. What did Tenma see? He saw a clock, isn't he? Didn't he? Yeah. He's gonna get him the clock, man. He's gonna get him the clock. Oh no. Oh no, please. Bro. Hopefully nothing happens to Junkers now. Oh no, guys, look at the vibes, the shadowing, the everything. Oh, and he's going behind the curtain. We saw him standing there, but he might as well be dead now when he opens the door. Oh shit! Bro. He's dead. He looked like. Yeah. Dude. Who the fuck is doing this? Okay. And then transition into Tenma carrying the clock, man. And he will find a dead patient. This is so fucked up, man. And the Lung, dude, or Lung, would be. All over Telma, man, because this is now very suspicious. He's performing these murders without any trace. Message or a paper from Candy. Bro, I can't believe this shit. There he is, he's not dead yet. He's running. Yeah, 
He ran through this fucking fast. Of course, that he ran off a sketchy, abandoned looking building. Very nice. Careful, Tenma. You mustn't come. Bro! But why was he running towards him? What is happening? Somebody that knows him? No shot! Wait, this is insane. <laughs> what the fuck? There is no way. The child that he saved. Oh my god, bro, this is not happening. I can't believe this shit. He hired them. He was behind, yeah, he was behind all the murders. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Boy, Boris. <laughs> this is such a crazy fucking twist. He's gonna pull the trigger. ヒガシドイツから亡命してきた元東ドイツ貿易局顧問ミハイル・リーベルト氏の息子だこれだけの素性が分かる。そういう名前の時もあったっけ。ヒューズダットネームビフォー。でもそれは知っちゃいけないん
and he casually walks past him and leaves. And Junkers is gone. Now Tenma is in the state of shock. Will Tenma say who it is? Oh my god, he's mentioning that. しかし、その少年は驚いたことに病院の院長、外科部長、チーフの3人を毒入りのキャンディーで殺害し逃亡。そして昨夜、彼はなんと9年ぶりに姿を現し、He already confessed。They know everything。4組の中年夫婦殺害をユンケルスほか2名、ヨハンリーベル。Johann Lieber, they literally know every single thing that happened. Oh my lord. This is... This is going to destroy Terma's soul. Do they think that he was lying? Lungit doesn't seem like he thinks he was lying. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so fucking messed up, man. Wow, guys, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Holy crap, guys, that was incredible from all the possible suspects and theories it turns out that boy johan is the one who committed all the murders that is crazy and the fact that he just appeared like that in front of tenma after nine years and the crazy part is that he seems to <laughs> really still like respect and care for tenma he didn't want to kill him, but he openly showed up in front of him and revealed himself to Tenma. But he's thankful for Tenma and he's saying, Oh doctor, you didn't didn't you want them dead, right? I just fulfilled what you felt at that moment. And it's like when he was a boy and when he was unconscious, right? after the brain surgery and he was unconscious and Tenma was uh, going on uh, about his life and he was saying everything from his chest. He was pouring his soul to this little boy that he uh, saved his life. And the boy absorbed all of it and he was hearing that shit. And when we saw him opening up his eyes, it was a foreshadowing that he will become a literal monster Whew. so good poor Junkers though bro R.I.P. to Junkers the story about the clock and Tenma getting him the clock man it's kind of heartbreaking so he did have accomplices right he was doing this with some other like professional like criminals and they were hired hired by the monster that Boris dude and that other dude, right? They were working with Junkers. They killed the middle-aged couple by the orders from Johan. And Johan is going after the perpetrators. He hires them and he kills them. That's crazy, man. And the guy launched from B or whatever the detective dude knows everything to me they didn't show us but it seemed like Tenma described the whole story to, to him and he was breaking it down right but the other dude is like still suspicious of Tenma he's now like asking what should they do but I do believe that a Lung dude believes Tenma 
I think that he believes him. It's crazy. Like, it didn't even cross my mind for a single second after those murders of Director Heinemann and the other doctors that it was a kid. Like, right after the surgery, the both kids are traumatized. He was crying. Like, I would never guess that shit. But when it comes to Dr. Tenma, who was basically reborn as a human thanks to this boy, who basically got his life together because of this boy, who remembered uh, why he wanted to become a doctor in first place, to save human lives and to not chase after accomplishments, right? And higher positions, he simply wants to help people and save their lives. And he says that all our lives are created equal, constant, con a contrast to what was uh, his ex fiance saying in earlier episodes, that our lives are not created equal. He realizes what's the true meaning of being a doctor. But with that thought process and that ideology, he did save a boy's life. But that boy is a completely like contrast character to that man. That very boy who gave him that like life is the one who is doing opposite to him. And who is taking away human lives. And who is thanking Dr. Tenma for saving him, man. It's basically as he, like, saved, or I don't want to say created a monster, but he saved the monster, right? And all these people and Junkers and all of these deaths happened indirectly because of Tenma, right? And of course that's gonna eat him from inside. He will never be the same after this, man. Like, after four episodes, I can already understand why the fuck is this show uh, liked by many of you guys. This is incredible. And the fact that Johan is saying all of this with such a gentle voice and with his like smile, that smirk, man. He has no feelings at all. He pulled that trigger easily, man. He did this already, you can tell. Man. He's a psychopath, man. This is gonna be a wild ride, guys. Holy shit. That was amazing. I will end the video here for today. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya.